Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Farsha Azara binti Muhammad Azwan. I'm Adani Dania binti Iskandar. I'm Auri Fatiha Bentur Azali. We are from <laughs> Epsis. We are presenting our innovation, the hand washer chamber. The aim of our innovation is to support WHO Sustainable Development Goals No. 3D in strengthening the capacity of all countries, in particular developing countries, for early warning, risk reduction and management of national global health risks. There are four problem areas that we have listed down. The inspired is to come up with this innovation. First, we found that students in school need to have multiple trips to the washroom just to wash their hands. This is taking a lot of time. Second, some students think that washing hands is not important, despite many reminders. They tend to skip washing hands because they are too young to understand the consequences. Third, in this war fighting COVID-19, washing hands requires a lot of water. We shouldn't take an easy way by just let the water tap running. Fourth, some schools provide hand sanitizer that eventually will be running out of it. Topping up the supplies, is costing lots of money. First, this innovation is mainly developed to reduce the trips to the washroom. At the same time, the students can keep their hands clean. Second, we also aim to encourage younger students to keep washing their hands regularly. Third, we aim to reduce water consumption and alcohol usage while adhering to the guidelines by the Ministry of Health. Fourth, the innovation is targeted to reduce the cost of supplying hand sanitizer to education institutions, specifically the government schools. Last but not least, we would like to apply the syllabus learned in RBT subject by innovating something useful in real life. Now, let's see the methodology in our innovation. Our methodology is divided into five parts. Programming, electronic circuit, hardware, pilot run, and evaluation. We use Arduino software to make our programming. This is the flowchart used and here is the programming. This system is uploaded to this microprocessor. We run the system until it completely succeeds. This is our electronic circuit of our innovation. The main parts used are one Arduino Uno R3, three water sensors, one ultrasonic sensor, two piezo buzzers, two 12 VDC 60 watts water pump, and a double relay. This is the hardware of our innovation. This is the chamber. Inside the chamber, there are six nozzles. And here is the ultrasonic sensor. When the ultrasonic sensor centers a movement, the nozzles start to spray out water and the song will be played. Behind the chamber, there are three boxes. The bottom box is the two pumps. And this box is the microprocessor. It controls the whole system. This is the power box. The battery is charged with this solar panel. This is our limitation because the low capacity of the solar panel. The battery can only be used up to 1 hour with 17 hours of charging. Right now, we are using an AC adapter. In the future, we are going to improve by a lithium battery and a high capacity of solar panel. Here are the water tanks. Tank A, B and C. Behind these tanks, there is a water sensor mounted at the bottom part of the tank to detect the water level. Once the tank is empty, the water sensor will activate the buzzer. The programming works the same with tank B. However, tank C works slightly different. The water sensor is mounted at the top part of the tank. When the water level is full, the water sensor will activate the buzzer and the buzzer will notify the owners to refill or empty out the tank. From the experiment, we found that washing hands traditionally requires 4 liter of water inclusive 2.5 liter of wastage. Using our innovation, we only use 750 ml, which is equivalent to 3 quarter of 1 liter bottle or 1 and half bottle of 500 ml. One of our feedbacks from the survey has proven that by installing a hand washing chamber in the classroom will increase the frequency of washing hands among students.